In this video, we will talk about IB Math Pass Paper, AI Standard Level, Paper 1, Time Zone 1, May 2021. Question 1. Here is an expression called Katya's approximation of pi. For part A, we can input this into the calculator, and we get 3.14678891. As we need to correct it to 4 decimal places, the final answer is 3.1468. Part B. To calculate the percentage error, we use the absolute difference between the real value and the approximation divided by the real value of pi. Then, we multiply it by 100%. For the real value of pi, we can just take the pi value from our calculator. Finally, we get 0.1654%. In question 2, we have 10 data. Part A. We need to find the mole. So, we check which number appears most often. It's 14. Part B. We need to calculate the mean. It is equal to the sum of all the data, divided by the amount of data. Also, we can just input all the data to the calculator. And there is a function which can tell us all the statistic value directly, including the mean. In IBAI standard level, most of the questions can just be solved by input all the data into calculator. For part C, standard deviation which can also be solved by calculator. Question 3. There is a hemisphere, and the radius is 6 mm. For part A, we need to find the total surface area. First, we need to think how many parts are there. There are two faces for this hemisphere. On top, the curved part of the hemisphere, and also the circle in the bottom. So, using the formula of sphere divided by 2 and the formula of circle, substitute 6 for the radius, we can get 339 for the answer. Part B, we need to calculate the weight, and we know that 1 gram is equal to 240 mm square. So, we just need to use our answer in part A divided by 240. The answer is 2.21 gram. Question 4. Price of gas at a station is 1.5, and the function which represents the total cost is given in here. X is the number of liters of gas. In part A, we want to buy 40 liters, and we want to know the cost. So, we just need to put it into the formula. L40 is 55. Part B. We want to find L inverse 70. Inverse function means that we need to reverse the process of the function L. Now, we have the output 70, and we need to find the input x. So, we just need to set L to be 70 and solve for x. And we get x equals 50. Part C. The price of gas of another station is 1.3 per liter. And the cost in this station is cheaper than that of the original one, when, k, when x is greater than k. Obviously, we need to set the formula of this station is smaller than that of the original one. The total cost of the gas just 1.3x, which is smaller than 1.5x minus 5. After we solve this inequality, we get x is greater than 25. So, k is just 25. Question 5. A Fermi diagram is shown. T1, T2, T3 are three towers, and T4, the fourth tower, is located somewhere in the shaded region. Dash the nice represents the edge. Now, team stands inside the shaded region, and for part A, we need to explain why team will receive the strongest signal from T4. Very easy, since inside the shaded region, all the points are closest to T4, instead of the other towers. Part B. Now we know T2's coordinates, which are negative 9 and 5. And the edge AB is y equals 3, 
we need to find T4. For the distance from any point on edge AB to T2, should be the same as that to T4. As the edge line y equals 3 is a horizontal line, the line connecting T2 and T4 should be a vertical line. So, the x-coordinate of T2 and T4 should be the same, negative 9. The distance between the T2 and the edge is 5 minus 3, which is 2. So, the y-coordinate of T4 is 3 minus 2, which is 1. Part C. We have the coordinates of T1 and we want to find the slope of the edge between T1 and T2. Similar concept to part B. The edge should be perpendicular to the line connecting T1 and T2. So, we try to find the slope of this line first. 5 minus 3 over negative 9 minus negative 13, which is half. As the edge is perpendicular to this line, its slope should be negative reciprocal to half, which is negative 2. Question 6. A girl who has a farm. She said the mean weight of the eggs of the black geese is less than that of the white geese. Given the data, she wants to have a t-test with 10% level of significance. Part A. We need to write the new hypothesis in words. Opposite to what she said, H0 is just that the mean weight of the two groups of X are the same. Part B. Just by calculator, we can, we can get p-value 0 0.177. Part C. As 0 0.177 is greater than 10%, we cannot reject the new hypothesis. Her claim is not supported by the evidence. Question 7. A professor has a function R, represents the percentage of the information retained by his student after his lecture. T is the number of days after the lecture. Also, he finds that after one day, only 50% of information retained by his students. Part A. We need to find P. We just substitute 1 for T and 50 for R into the function. By calculator, we can get 0 0.693. Part B. We need to find the information retained after 36 hours. 36 is 1.5 days. So, we just put 1.5 into T and calculate R and we get 35.36. Part C. The professor believes that there must be some information left whenever, and we need to explain that. It is because RT is an exponential function, and we need to remember that all the exponential functions are always positive. Part D. We need to write down the limitation of the domain of the model. So, we need to think what value of t is not reasonable. t represents the days after the lecture, which cannot be infinite or very very large, as we cannot live forever. Question 8. There are two people. In the first day, they both won 500 meters. On each subsequent day, C wants 100 meter more than the previous day. So, it forms an arithmetic sequence. And for D, she wants 2% of the distance more than the previous day. So, it forms a geometric sequence. Part A. We need to find the total distance C and D went on day 20. For C, by the formula of AS, we have UN equals U1 plus N minus 1 times the difference. By substitution, we have 500 plus 19 times 100, which is 2400. And for D, by the formula of GS, we have UN equals U1 times bracket 1 plus 2 percent to the power 19, which is, two, which is 728. Part B. On day N, D wants more than C for the first time, and we need to find N. 
as D wants more than C, we set the general formula of D is greater than C. And then, we just need to graph two expressions in the calculator. Or, just by the function of the calculator, we can get n is greater than 184 something. So, n is equal to 185. Question 9. We have a triangle with signs 56 and 82. Each measured correct to the nearest meter. We also have an angle 105 which is corrected to the nearest 5 degrees. Everything is marked in the diagram below and we need to find the maximum possible area of the triangle. By the formula of area of triangle, it is equal to half AB sine theta. And then, we need to consider the maximum possible signs of the triangle. As they are correct to nearest meter, their upper bound are the values measured at half of a meter, which are 56.5 and 82.5. And then, we need to consider the maximum of sine theta. As the angle is corrected to 5 degrees, its possible value is between 102.5 and 107.5. And be careful, this is a tricky part. As the highest degree doesn't make sine theta to be greatest. Actually, for sine theta, its value is decreasing after 90 degrees. As smaller theta actually makes sine theta greater. So, we need to take 102.5 instead of 107.5. And finally, we just need to substitute all the values back to the equation and input them into the calculator. Then, we can get the answer 2275. Question 10. A game is played with two dice. The score is the greater of the two numbers. If the two dice are the same, just take the number shown on the dice. Part A. We need to compute the table of the probability distribution of the score. So, we need to count the number of possible cases for each score. If the score is 1, the only case is 1-1 one, one for the first and the second dice. And for score 2, the possible cases are 1-2, one, 2-1 two, two, one, and 2-2 two, two for the two dice. And for score 3, 4, 5 and 6, we count the number of their possible cases as well. As we know, the number of possible cases are 6 times 6, 36. So, the probabilities are just 1 over 36, 3 over 36, and so on. Part B. We need to find the probability of scoring at least 3 in a game. That means, we need to score 3, 4, 5, or 6 in the game. So, we just need to add the probabilities of these 4 situations together. Next. We need to find the probability of scoring 6 given that they already scored at least 3. As there are 32 cases of scoring 3 and 11 cases of scoring 6. So, the final answer is just 11 over 32. Part C. We need to find the expected score of the game. Expected value is just the sum of all the values times their own probabilities together. So, we just use 1 times 1 over 36, plus 2 times 3 over 36, plus etc. Finally, we get 161 over 36. Question 11. Sun intensity i is inversely proportional to the square of the distance d. When d is 1.5, i is 4. For part A, we write i equals k over d squared first. And then, we just substitute 1.5 for d and 4 for i. By solving this linear equation, we get k equals 9. So, we just put it back to our first equation and we get i equals 9 over d squared. Part B. We need to sketch i. If we remember the shape of an inverse function, we can just directly sketch it. Otherwise, we can just input the equation into our graphing calculator and copy the shape displayed. 
Anyway, don't forget to label the point 1.5, 4. Part C. Scarlet can hear the sound if I is greater than the value here. We need to find D such that Scarlet cannot hear the sound. Be careful, this is very tricky, as the word is cannot hear. So, we need to do the opposite. Set I to be smaller than the value, but not greater than that. Solving the inequality by algebraic skills or by calculator, we get D is greater than 2450. Question 12. A gift box is a wide-angled triangle GIK. A rectangle HIJK is inside the triangle. Some of the lengths are labeled in the diagram. Part A. We need to find the area of the triangle. Triangle area is base times height divided by 2. Height and base should be perpendicular to each other. GI is the height and IK is the base. The area is GI P plus 6 times IK 8 plus Q and then divided by 2. Then we need to write A only in terms of Q. So we need to find another equation that connecting Q and P together, such that we can replace P by the expression in terms of Q. When we see a rectangle inscribed inside a triangle, we need to know that the lines here are parallel lines, and the angles here are the same. Thus, these two triangles are similar. This check often exists in the geometry questions. Similar triangles are always used in this kind of questions. So, by the same ratio, we have P over 8 equals 6 over Q. Then, we can make P to be the subject and put it back to the previous expression of A. Finally, after simplification, we get the answer. Part B. Find dA over dQ. So, we just need to differentiate the area by power rule. Put the index in front and subtract the index by 1. As 40A is a constant, it disappears. Part C. We want to minimize the area. So, we set the derivative to be 0. We have negative 192 over q squared plus 3 equals 0. And then, we just solve this equation by algebraic skills or by calculator. We get q equals 8. Question 13. A ball is launched into the air. Theta is the starting angle and L is the horizontal distance. Some pictures are shown to illustrate the idea. A formula of the derivative of L is given. For part A, for the graph of L against theta, we need to determine it is increasing or decreasing when theta is 50. The graph is increasing means the derivative is positive, and decreasing means the derivative is negative. So, we just need to substitute 50 for theta in the formula above. Finally, we get negative 1. So, the graph is decreasing. Part B. When the angle is 40, L will be 205.5, and we need to find function L in terms of theta. We have L's derivative and we need to find L. So, we need to do integration on that first. Add the index by 1 and then divide it by the index. Of course, don't forget to add the constant c. After that, in order to find c, we put the information provided back to the equation. L is 205.5 and theta is 40. Solving a linear equation and we get c equals 5.5. Finally, we just substitute 5.5 for c and write the equation. We have gone through all the questions in this paper already. Thank you for watching. If you like it or want to know more, please like and subscribe my channel. Bye bye.